Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you or discussing with you Shopify contact as page tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out the stuff for riches under this video. So let's get started. In this case, how do we actually uh, add or edit our contact page here? So in this case, the first thing you want to do here is you want to go to Shopify.com and log into your account and access your store. Now, in this case, uh, typically when we go to our online store here, just to give you some idea, uh, by default, any Shopify store that you create actually has the capabilities or they already have a contact page already. So in this case, as you can see in my nav, this is a default one. So contact page should be available. So as you can see, it is the default one. But as you can see, the contact page itself is quite bland. And in this case, if you want to add some text on it, maybe add some images, if you want to, uh, you could go ahead and do or follow these steps I'll be showing you. So there's actually two ways of editing your contact page here. So let's go ahead and go back into our Shopify store here. And from here, we want to go to online store. And in here, what we need to do next is uh, we want to go to pages. So this is the first method that I'll be showing you how to add edit your contact page. So in this case, uh, I want to actually choose the contact page here. Let's go and choose contact. Now the thing here is there are different components here. So first is the title. So by default, every pages that you create here have their own titles and templates that they use. So the contact page actually has its own template that they could or basically use. So if you change this to a different one, like for example, default page here, you can save. Uh, when you actually go back into your contact page, it's now going to look different because we are now or we no longer are using the contact page template. So uh, as you can see, uh, Shopify would take some time to load up properly. So it might take some tries before it is actually updated. But in this case, uh, typically when you actually switch over to a different template, uh, the changes or in this case, uh, this one, as you can see, the section for contact page is now missing. But whenever we actually revert this back into contact, it should revert back into a previous change. Now, the first way to edit your uh, contact page here is we want to actually go to content section. So for example, maybe we want to add ours here. Ours, we operate. And from here, you could go ahead and just add like, for example, 8 a.m. to uh, let's just say 7 p.m. Uh, just an example here and maybe, maybe I want to say this from Monday and yeah so in this case you can even add images or change or edit your text here making bold making italic or add underline on it and you could also add images by clicking on the tree dot icon here and basically inserting your own images or videos if you want to even insert tables if needed so let's go and click on save here to save our changes and we actually go back into our page here and reload as you can see it is it now has the RSV operate now in this case this is the first method on editing your contact page but what is the other way so the other way is to directly uh, edit the template here but in this case directly to, uh, editing the template itself can actually affect all the pages that is using the contact page template here so if you're not or if there are no other pages that are using the template here uh, in this case, you could go ahead and start editing your template. So to do that, you need to go to Teams here and you want to go to uh, Customize. And from here, what we need to do is we need to go to Homepage. Let's go and click on the drop down here. We want to go to uh, Pages and from here, choose the Contact Us template. Now in this case, you could go ahead and add images. Like for example, let's go and click on Add Section. Like for example, if you want to add a, uh, let's just say a slideshow here, you could go ahead and add a slideshow underneath or above them. So to make it more, fa I'll look, uh, make it look more fancy if you want to. So let's just move it up here. So as you can see in, out in here, you, go, so you can go ahead and click on save. You could go ahead and customize your image slide here, but just an example, let's go ahead, go ahead and save this one. And we actually go back into our contact page. As you can see, we now have a slider before the actual contact page section here. So yeah, so in this case, those are the two ways on editing your contact page. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.